Welcome to CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics. Today, almost 17,000 researchers and engineers come to CERN to investigate the universe, how it works, what it is made of, using some of the largest and most complex pieces of the equipment in the world. In the Large Hadron Collider, we smash particles together just below the speed of light. By doing this, the physics community has produced some fundamental discoveries. In 2012, we identified the Higgs boson, which is the manifestation of a field that gives mass to all other fundamental particles in the universe. This type of research results in a huge IT and computing challenges. Uh, things uh, happen very fast around here. In the Large Hadron Collider, particles collide at approximately one billion times per second. Our data analysis needs are so great that we need to distribute the LHC data around the world to over 170 data centers and laboratories that collaborate with us. The continuous program of upgrades and consolidations to the Large Hadron Colliders and the experiments at CERN will result in the coming years to greatly increase the ICT and computing demands. This is why we keep looking at next generation technologies like quantum computing and why we have joined the IBM Quantum Network. Using quantum machine learning algorithms, we're exploring how to pinpoint these complex events in a way that is much more efficient than even our fastest supercomputers. Which is exciting for us because we design and build quantum computers to tackle precisely this kind of seemingly impossible challenge. At the heart of our quantum computers are what we call qubits, the basic unit of quantum information. Unlike the bits within a classical computer that can just manipulate ones or zeros, qubits can hold much richer information. We can exploit this to calculate the boundaries around interesting events more efficiently using many more dimensions that can be visualized or handled by a classical computer. Qubits are made by trapping and controlling tiny bits of the universe, in our case, pairs of electrons. So in a way, we're using tiny parts of the universe that we do understand to help us find the other tiny parts of the universe that we don't understand. Quantum computing may play a very significant role in helping us expand our knowledge beyond the standard model of physics. This means investigating the many open questions related to dark matter, dark energy, the relationships between gravity and quantum mechanics, and more. Quantum computing might not provide all the answers, but it may help us see the universe more clearly and ask better questions. <laughs>